Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, I'm on Signal, and somebody, actually two somebody's posted the same message from Peter Kirstein that I told you about last week, or about a week ago. I gave you his Facebook link. Okay, well, I'm going to read you this message, and it's kind of long, so I'm going to do my best. I have some water here, and um, it's on white on black, and that really helps me to read. So, I have my computer set to night, uh, whatever you call it, night vision, night light, whatever. All right, it's just called Peter Kirstein, The Manifestation of the Sons of God. Massive word of encouragement. He is turning our mourning into dancing, beloved bride of Yeshua. Applicable now. Quote, this is a verse. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, Sion, I think it must be King James Version, and with him and hundred, forty, and four thousand, definitely King James Version, and with him a hundred and forty four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads, and that's Revelation fourteen one. You will be delighted all right, this is the message. You will be delighted with what I pour forth now. I will thrill your heart with my glorious presence. You have paid a great price and stayed with me and loved me through it. You have loved me through it. And now you will see your exceedingly great reward. Your reward is the great. Okay, they put a semicolon there. Uh, but I don't think it was supposed to be there because it reads better to go. Your reward is the great I am fully possessing you, taking you over so that every word, every thought is of me and every move, prayer, and action is directed by my Holy Spirit. The things you have longed to see for decades, my glory covering the earth as the waters cover the sea, is soon upon you. Many are the trials you have faced, and you have faced much opposition from the enemy of your soul, and indeed he tried to remove you physically, but not so, for I have always hit, had my hand on you since your conception in your mother's womb. He knew which of us were going to follow him completely, eventually. It took some of us a little longer to get there, right? Oh, good, my bit shoot video. I just put a video up, if you haven't seen it, from Steve Fletcher. I told you about it earlier that I was going to put it up. It finally got up, and it finally made it up on bit shoot also. All right, the one about the Hungary, Hungarian leader predicting... That the unvaxxed will die. He says from COVID, but we know what he means. He's, he's just, in other words, admitting the Bible is the truth. That those who refuse it will end up being beheaded. Unless the Lord protects you and helps you escape and gets you to a place of safety. That's going to happen because there will be survivors of the Great Tribulation and the wrath of God. We discussed that last night. There has to be people left to procreate and fill the earth again, or at least the livable land. Okay, let me get back to this message. All right, he said, The devil tried to remove you physically, but not so. For I have always had my hand on you since your conception in your mother's womb. Yes, indeed, when I created the earth, you were on my mind for my end time purposes. Do not think you are disqualified and have failed me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I needed to hear that. I am yet to do a mighty work of restoration of your body and your soul. Praise Jesus. You have not lived this life in vain. 
all your purposes are hidden in me and shall come forth in its appointed time. Do not fret and mourn, my beloved, and be in despair, for I have seen your struggles for righteousness, and I have seen your deep heart for the love of my truth. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the truth, Lord. In fact, it has always been so with you, my beloved. You were set apart from your family, and you were called from a young age. Oh, praise God. Will I not also therefore fulfill all my words and promises to you? Am I not the great Jehovah, the great Jehovah Jireh, and the great Jehovah Nisi? Jehovah Jireh means God is my provider. Jehovah Nisi, I believe, means healer. God is my healer. Is there anything too hard for me? Stand up now and be counted among my mighty ones. Oh, praise the Lord. You have not disappointed me, for I knew of your struggles long before you went through them. And I have, and I have an answer, and it is soon coming. Let me shine through your countenance and strengthen your feeble knees and hope yet in your God who is mighty to save. Now there's like a title here that says, Breakthrough to My Realm. Many are on the borderline of breakthrough to my spiritual realm. My realm of mighty anointing, signs and wonders, and great authority by my spirit. This realm is breaking through the veil of the flesh into my holy of holies. Once there, you will be caught up to my heavenly realm where I will show you many wonderful truths about my kingdom and give you revelation of the mysterious workings of my kingdom, which is so different from the realm in which you now dwell. This is going to happen when we go outside of time at the, the rapture of the first fruits, is what I call it. It's an escape. It's a snatching away out of harm's way. As we and the innocents leave, there will be destruction coming. That's the way I understand it. It's called a convergence. Things happening simultaneously. All right, let me continue. Deep are my ways and my truths, which you will need to overcome all of Satan's strategies in trying to place this kingdom on earth instead of mine. Let me read that again. Deep are my ways and my truths, which you will need to overcome all of Satan's strategies in trying to place his kingdom on earth. Oh, in trying, I, I see the emphasis is all of Satan's, in trying to place his kingdom on earth instead of mine. Yeah, he's so stupid he don't know he can't do that. I don't know. I guess he has been planning this for eons since the desired since he desired to be above my throne. What a dummy. And that's I'm saying that lightly. When he was eventually thrown out of my realm, eventually So he must have been there a while serving the Lord as worship leader. He was a top dog in heaven. Did y'all know that? Lucifer was the worship leader. His, the Old Testament describes it. His breast was made of like pipes, like in a pipe organ. But they were like jewels that lit up when the choir sang. And he led them. He got very prideful because he was the most beautiful and very talented. All right, let me go back to this. Ever since he desired to be above my throne. Next paragraph. When he was eventually thrown out of my realm, his next plan was to usurp me on earth. 
He has been working through his minions and powers through man and particularly through the governments of your world. That is the truth, people. People got to stop looking to Trump coming back to make America great again. It's not going to happen. That is why many of you are astounded at the deception and cunning subterfuge of those in power and indeed of the hidden ones in power who are really the ones pulling the strings behind them. He's talking about Barack Obama pulling the strings of Trump and now Biden. Oh, Biden. <laughs> Uh, president, so-called President Biden. Do not be afraid, neither tear your hair out. Am I not God? Am I not omniscient and omnipresent? I know all, and that's in all caps, where it starts, am I not God? Am I not omniscient and omnipresent? Question mark, exclamation. No, wait. <laughs> I know all, exclamation mark. I have my own plans. Plans to bring forth a man-child company. That's the first fruits. Mature in faith, knowledge, and understanding. Twice refined and full of my love. To this no minion neither power nor demon has an answer and no weapon formed against them will prosper hallelujah praise the lord now this part is titled warrior of righteousness they will root out and pluck up they will devastate his kingdom plans wait a second i just clicked on read more and it jumped it so I got to go. Okay. They will root out and pluck up. They will devastate his kingdom plans. They are a supernatural people who will live between my heavenly realm and earth. And they will bring great devastation to Satan's one world order. When Satan comes in like a flood... And that time is soon coming. I will raise up a standard. And that standard is my beautiful, beloved man-child company. You are borderline on breakthrough. Please do not give up now. All you have suffered. All you have lost. All the tears, isolation, and rejection has served to bring you here to this borderline place borderline of total breakthrough i love you now this is titled you are coming out of boot camp you are coming out of boot camp my beloveds many of my children have achieved excellence in their training you have been among harsh taskmasters you have been maligned misjudged falsely accused and downtrodden Praise God, yes, Lord. But you have learned to love the unlovely. You have seen past the demonic manifestations of control and manipulation, lies and distortion of truth, and you have seen the woundedness beneath it all. Yes, Lord, I have. Which, I'm you know, it's like he's telling me this, y'all. How many of you can testify? It's like he's talking to me. All right. He's talking to all of us, warriors, first fruits, bride of Christ. He's talking to us. You have seen past, wait a minute, the demonic manifestations of control and manipulation, lies and distortions of truth. And you have seen the woundedness beneath it all, which gave Satan his entry points and strongholds. This is what I wanted to work out in you, my beloveds, that you guard your mouth, that you do not judge, and that you show forth my love. How else will the wounded know me unless you show forth who I truly am? For I have been misrepresented in the churches by many. 
And now the lost seek spiritual answers elsewhere, which results in them being even more bound and in greater deception. It has been a hard training camp for many, but how else will I train an army of faithful ones when there was no way out of your hard circumstances, you sought my face and my will in the situation and submitted yourself to my training and chastising. Now it is soon time for your honorable discharge from boot camp, my beloveds. The season has been long and dry spiritually and fraught with many snares and pitfalls, you have negotiated the obstacle course by seeking my face, and I am pleased with you, my beloved. Stay alert and watchful in the spirit, for a door of opportunity will open, and I will promote you to greener pastures and broader places where others have feared to tread. But you are my trained soldiers, and you are being promoted out of boot camp. Hallelujah. It will be a place where my spirit will flow freely without the hindrances by oppositional spirits that now oppress you. You have longed for the day when you will be used for my glory and to be released into your destiny. Be alert. You are about to get an honorable discharge from boot camp, and I am well pleased with you, my beloveds. Isaiah 14, 1 through 3 says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, and the people shall take them. And bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Now, I had to click on read more, so I got to back up to where it was scriptures. Wait a minute, there it is, boot camp. Wait a minute. He keeps saying that. They will root out and pluck up. Okay, I read that. I read that. Where's Isaiah? There it is. Okay. So it, it that ended with, and from the hard, um, wait a minute. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And it shall come to pass in the day that the, that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou wast made to serve. You will walk in unprecedented authority Demons will flee with a word and with a touch to the afflicted one. My kingdom is one of sowing and reaping. That which you have sown, you will reap. It is a universal law, just as gravity is a natural law upon the earth. But my beloveds will walk above these natural laws, just as the miracle of multiplication is against natural known laws. My people will walk in the supernatural, just as my risen son did. They will appear where they are needed in a blink of an eye. They will preach or pray powerfully and then be returned to where they were. It's going to be awesome. Y'all, we shall do great exploits. Greater things than Jesus did shall we do. They will walk through walls. They will walk on water. They will rebuke the storms and even the waves. They will command creative miracles. They will command creative miracles to the glory of my name. The unbelievers will watch in awe and many will give glory to my name. 
My beloveds will soon be walking in my resurrection power. They will reclaim lands and peoples. They will begin to put all things under the feet of my son. They will begin to the process of restoring the earth, but it will be completed when my son returns. These words and more shall my beloved soon do. They have been refined by my hand. They have submitted to the refining fires and not fainted nor denied my name. Spiritual guerrilla warrior. These are my dread. These are my wonderfully meant dreaded champions. These make up my mighty army who will march shoulder to shoulder and not break rank. Now this part is in all caps. They aren't... It's not time to meet already, is it? No, it's just 421. They are my army to bring redemption and healing to my creation. It is through these that I choose to work and to show forth the glory of the Creator, which fallen man has forgotten. Oh yes, beloveds, a time is coming that the world is not seen, a time when my mighty army rises up as with one voice and one heart, my heart, and they will do great exploits. There it is again, they will do great exploits. Do not grow faint or weary now, beloveds, it is almost at the door. Wait for it. Do not run ahead of me. Wait for it, and it shall surely come. Oh my gosh. He put that message up that someone else received. D. Hotner, H O E T M E R, in 2013. And I just shared my daughter's message from 2013 about Thanksgiving. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's the end of it. So let me pull up the camera here. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's like he wrote it yesterday for us today. You see? And how many people said, oh, so-and-so said Jesus is coming any day. It's going to happen any time now. We're still here. It hadn't happened yet. Listen to the words of this. Did it not sound like it was just written? Yes, it did. The message my daughter got on for Thanksgiving. I, when I heard that, when she first got it, and she put it up on YouTube, and I watched it. My spirit bore witness that it came from God. And we really thought it was going to happen that year. You know, it was so intense. Well, it didn't. And every year since then, I thought, well, maybe this year. There's something going to happen. It didn't say rapture, did it? It said his vengeance comes but we know we're spared from his vengeance aren't we so now that we know that put two and two together things are going to happen simultaneously it could happen it could if it doesn't then maybe she got lied to like she says in the video take all prophecy to the lord for confirmation if you need it, if your spirit, if you don't have Holy Spirit discernment that will throw a red flag up, as I always say, when it's not of God, and that does happen, I will get, I will be listening to something and I'll be like, uh uh, no, this is not of God, and I don't share it. And if I've heard a couple from one person that was not of God and the next one sounds like it's from God, I still won't share it. And I won't usually don't even listen to them. But because of the platforms, I'm, you know, this grafted in Team Jesus. Before that, it was other people I would listen to, you know, listen to their videos on their channel. And I would listen to it and I'd be like, don't they realize the last two messages they put up were like 
not so much from God. And I can't really, you know, share anything now. You see what I'm saying? And that's because their flesh got in the way or they needed heart healing and deliverance. Just like I did. Got lied to by the demons inside of me. And that is the truth. Anyway, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. If you've watched it this long, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over each and every single one of us. Our devices and our internet connections. And with that, I'm going to say bye for now. I will talk to you later.